Hey, what's going on, Virgo? Thank you so much for tuning in. All right, y'all. So you already know this is your energy update for today. Take what you need, you guys. Leave what you don't need. And please use the spirit of discernment. All right? Now, I don't know what timeline you fall on. Get in where you fit in. Show me what I need to see for my collective. We got a thinking woman in the reverse. Adjacent possibility in the reverse. And I feel like, you know, this could be past um, energy in the third chakra, okay? With that thinking woman reverse, it feels more like this past, present, future type scenario, okay? But however, y'all, let me set my intentions. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, my true God, for helping me with this Virgo reading. I ask that it reaches the right people at the right time in the right places. And thank you for using me as Virgo's messenger. All right, y'all, hit that like button. Thank you. Okay, so tell me about this thinking woman reverse. Why is this thinking woman in the reverse? So somebody could be, you know, not lacking, let's just say lacking an understanding of something, um, disconnected from their own purpose, their own path. The Ten of Wands is in the reverse. Give me more. I feel like this thinking woman reverse is like carrying something. You know how you carrying the weight of something by yourself and you probably ain't really, you know, saying anything um, or you just not asking for help. None of that. Okay. The six of wands comes out in the reverse. All right. So I feel like something you like, it, even if this isn't you, this could be somebody connected to you. But I feel like this thinking woman is um, whatever goal it, it is. They can't figure out why am I not achieving this goal? Why am I not getting the recognition? Um, why isn't this happening? You know, and with that adjacent possibility card coming out in the reverse, that's about choosing an alternative way, you know, and that's how I'm seeing it. 211, 212 on the timer. Um, this could be about some type of partnerships or something like that, uh, relationship, friendships, or whatever. But it's like this thing where I feel like where, um, if you take a while to look at things, then you'll be able to take on some type of new action, you know, do something different. You know, it's like choosing a healthier choice at hand, a happier choice at hand, right? And um, and there's so many unconsidered options, but I feel like at some point in this story, this thinking woman literally just because of a force of habit was stuck. You understand? Just like, I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what's happening. I don't know what, what to do. Um... And I feel like somebody is taking a wider look now at some things, you know, maybe before you weren't or this person wasn't, but now it's like, wait a minute. I feel like I'm more aware now. I'm more conscious now. I, I feel like I can make a different decision here. And with this third chakra card, this is about your life force energy, 311. Okay. So um, definitely a lot of information that you could be getting in or gaining about your situation now. And with this third chakra, it's like, okay, now I'm getting myself back into alignment. You know, now I'm feeling energetic again um, because now I've done something different. I'm, I'm not staying stuck, okay? But if you aren't at that point and you still feel like, you know what, I'm stuck and I'm still keep repeating the same pattern here, then, um, yeah, definitely take heed to this reading, okay? So tell me more about um, this... Uh, how can I say it? This new action that's being taken. The Emperor Reverse and the Eight of Pentacles. Okay, somebody's taking charge, basically. Whether it's you or them, somebody's taking charge now. Like, you know what? I'm I'm a I'm a operating in this logical in my masculine energy real quick, and I'm about to start putting in some different if different actions. I'm about to start devising a different plan. You know, work this a little bit different, you know, um, with that eight of pentacles. Now I'm looking at all my options. And I'm gonna try all of these options here. This is this is what taking control looks like, okay? Um wow, that's dope. Tell me more about this card. Yeah, the King of Cups is in the reverse. But somebody's triggered, heavily triggered here, um, not balanced emotionally and all. Tell me more about this person that's not balanced. Queen of Wands in the reverse. Okay, yeah. So whatever is happening, like somebody could be triggered by 
um, a situation. This could be a third party energy coming through, um, triggered by somebody who definitely probably wasn't too cool, too nice to them. You know, um, very. This Queen of Wands reverse could be could have been very revengeful, um, just a nasty individual. Um, um, is what I'm getting from it. And it's very triggering for them. This makes this person or makes you just very unbalanced emotionally. Okay, so whoever this third party person is, it seems to be why somebody keeps um making the wrong choice, right? Keeps choosing the unhealthier options, um, not aware, you know. And I got a king of wands that's here too as well. But it's still kind of looking like Somebody's taking charge here. Somebody's taking a while to look at some things, okay? Like they can see the bigger picture. Now, what does this bigger, bigger picture look like? Ooh, let me do that again. What does this bigger picture look like? Ace of Swords in the reverse. Somebody hasn't gotten it yet. Somebody still isn't really clear about what that looks like. Okay, um, you know how you ain't get your epiphany or that breakthrough as of yet? Yeah, somebody doesn't have the clarity on this um, at all. Okay, um, I feel like, again, this could be, this definitely has to be somebody connected to you. It's like, they are not conscious or aware on what to do, okay, with this situation. But I feel like, Virgo, you're now aware. I feel like you're aware. You're choosing healthier. You're trying other ways of doing things. It's like you're more flexible. But here with this page of cups, it's like I feel like, you know, whoever is playing this role of this king is getting these ideas, getting new ideas, okay? Um, or they could be coming in, all right? Coming in with these ideas uh, could be even an apology or some sort is also what I just heard or just coming in with these ideas. Tell me more about this page of cups. It's almost like this person is trying to repaint. Wow. You know how, and this is how I'm hearing it, Virgo. I don't know if this is you or not, but it's like this energy of, you know how you try to repaint somebody? you like oh, okay maybe if i try to repaint them to look this way i might get a different result maybe if i keep trying to you know i can change it up you know if i draw it this way i can change it up right i feel like somebody has been trying to keep recreating a situation you know how it's like yeah i'm gonna choose different options but i'm gonna keep i'm gonna choose this different options on how i can recreate this situation and make it better and it just hasn't been working Wow. Tell me about the, the fifth chakra here, the third chakra here. The chariot and the two of pentacles. Okay. I feel like once um, you or this person gets into alignment and gets balanced, then that's when you start to get the clarity. You know, all right, I know which way I'm, I'm going. I know what I'm going to choose. And I'm going to choose the healthier options at hand. So what does that look like for Virgo? What does the healthier options at hand look like? The Wheel of Fortune. Okay. I feel like somebody's tired of being stuck in the same cycle. Tired of worrying. Nine of Swords. Tired of losing sleep. Tired of being anxious. Somebody is ready to see the manifestation of the things that they desire and want. You know, somebody's ready to be in a better cycle. It's like, yeah, I'm ready to feel good. I'm ready to have love. I'm ready to purchase a new home. I'm ready to get married. You know, it's like, I want those things. So now I'm going to release the world because I'm tired of what, you know, I'm tired of that. I'm ready. I got to be in alignment. I got to check. I got to do a vibe check, right, is what I'm saying. It's like, I need to do a vibe check so that I can be able to bring this in. 911, eight of wands comes out. Well, it's like it's an emergency type situation. Like you need to get your energy together because the universe is trying to support you and bring in what you desire. Everything that's on this will, right? Good health, prosperity, you know, um, a home, a relationship, whatever that is, schooling, whatever you want, right? So, but it, it requires for you to be in alignment in order for you to manifest this. And with this eight of wands, that's what it looks like is happening now. It seems like now that somebody has decided to choose a healthier and happier choice at hand, now the universe is collaborating. And guess what? 
things are going to pick up. You're going to see some type of speedy pro um, progress. All you got to do, again, is maintain your vibes, babes. All right, y'all. I love you. Don't forget, hit the like button. Peace.